Do you use Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Liu Kang has a ton of great tools. We got low projectiles. We got normal projectiles. We got a close in. We got lows. He's got a ton of awesome tools, but one thing he might be lacking in just a little bit, hear me out, is his air combo continuation. You see here, Liu Kang has two main air combo routes. We have one, three, four, we have two, one, two. But one, three, four in the air, kind of just pushes our opponent away from us. And you can do an air special after all that, but you want to do more of a combo. You want to do more damage, don't you? So Sonya Blade is my first choice for a cameo for Liu Kang because she offers air combo continuation. Because you can put your opponent in the air, then do 2-1, then use Sonya, drop before your opponent does, and continue the combo from there. Thus giving you more combo routes. And here's how that looks. Sonya is one of the only cameos that offers you air combo continuation, and Liu Kang could really use that. To be honest, her projectile is okay. We have our own. We even have a low projectile. But she does offer some awesome combo continuation on the ground as well with her back cameo move. So you can utilize both the ground combo continuation and the air combo continuation from Sonya as a cameo, and Liu Kang really benefits off of that. I believe in using a cameo for a character that kind of helps that character's weaknesses and helps them be more well-rounded. And one of Liu Kang's weaknesses, you can call it, is he doesn't have a ton of overhead combo starters. I mean, you see we have three, two, and that is an overhead, but it's more of a combo ender, not a combo starter. We got four to one, four, and that's a low starter, which is great, but we want more overhead options. And Scorpion as a cameo really gives us that option. So if you throw a forward one right there and your opponent blocks it, they might think, oh, they're going to go for the low option and you go psych, here's an overhead. And if hit, you get a combo continuation off of that. So you psych him out, throw in the overhead, then go for the combo continuation. Great tool for combo extension and a great tool for mix up. Plus Scorpion offers you air combo continuation. Scorpion gives you awesome air combo extension with extra damage. And if you do want to zone out your opponent just for a minute, you have the bad cameo move, the armored pullback full screen, allowing you to zone your opponent out just for some quick chip damage or catch them off guard and then get in their face. And now the pressure's yours. Scorpion's tools really benefit Liu Kang and I love using him. Because you might want to help yourself out with an extra overhead option, I love using Darius as a cameo as well for Liu Kang. And what you can do is you can use Darius for the overhead option here, then going with your low option, creating an unblockable mix that's just super hard to block. It just gives you another mix-up option, which Liu Kang players might want to have. Then we get combo extension, of course. I want more mix-up when I play Liu Kang, so I love using Darius and Scorpion for that reason alone. And just the pressure that it can help you create is just awesome. These are just my cameo recommendations when it comes to Liu Kang and Mortal Kombat 1, guys. Let me know down below who do you pair up with Liu Kang and why. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.